Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zen, and today we are back with another Ottomans campaign video in Empire Total War Darth Maud. Last time we defended our lands against Austria. We also retook Armenia from the Georgians and we are chasing them down. And we have built up some decent sized armies now, a lot better than what they have been previously. You guys are needing to go into there. Now, one thing I noticed between turns was that our, well, first of all, our monarch is pretty bad to start with, but we can't really do anything about that. But we, I didn't actually have a play around with our government and our treasury guy was a zero, <laughs> zero stars. So I have replaced him um, and we've replaced the Navy. No, we've replaced the army and the head as well, who was only two stars. So that should help us out. That's actually brought us in a little bit more money. First things first, though, we've also got some extra trade agreements with a few nations. That should really help us uh, in the long run. And we are also obviously repairing uh, these two trade ports, which should help us in the long run getting some more cash uh, before we go for a few more wars. Bit annoying that these guys are marching around our lands just destroying things. But, uh, yeah, there's not much we can really do about it, unfortunately. We do also have some good reinforcements coming over here. We've got these guys that are coming as reinforcements too. So this army is going to be a full stack very soon. And we're going to kill um, Georgia very soon too. But I am going to wait until Georgia attacks us here. Because I think they will. I think they'll think that they are going to be good. Because they have garrison line infantry here. But we just saw the Desert Warriors are insane. And we now have canister shot. So our cannons are going to be insanely good now against them. So that should not be a problem at all as well. So uh, I think we are at the end of the turn now, guys. So let's end the turn. Let's see what happens with Austria and Georgia. Ah, these little armies that are raiding us are quite annoying, I've got to say. So we are just going to go and kill them off. Like this one, for example. Let's get rid of it. Just auto-resolve that. Shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to keep that guy in there for now as a good little defensive. But these little ones that are just dot dotted around, quite annoying, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, let's jump in there with the organ guns. I think we're good now with this army. We do have another cannon on the way. But could we beat this one? They do have some militia. I don't think that's too scary. We don't have any cavalry here, which is a little bit shit for us. But... Um, yeah, I think we also wait for them to attack us because judging by the AI, they will attack us. This little bloody unit as well is very annoying. Um, I might recruit like a, um, a mob here and they might be able to kill those guys or just one of these, these guys. I think they'll be okay. Uh, we now got that in Serbia, which will allow us to build 18 pounder foot artillery and it only takes a turn. That's actually glorious. Um... What do we have? We've got organ guns and demi cannons. Well, we could replace the demi cannons. That would be fine. Uh, these guys path blocked. I don't know what by, but that's fine. You guys pop into there. You guys go in there. Only three turns until that surrenders. They actually, did they run away with their troops? They did. So we are probably going to take that. But let's do everything else. Again, buildings are sabotaged. Ha! <sighs> very annoying. Very, very annoying. Let's uh, make sure we are rebuilding these places because otherwise I will forget to do so. Um, those mines we can't. All of these ones seem fine. The silver mines, that's good. I think we can potentially get rid of the exempt from tax here. That should help us with our money. Yeah, you can see. And with that trade now coming in again, we are instantly making 7,000 a turn rather than anything else. So, yeah, it was just the, uh, the fact that we lost our trade there, which was bit annoying but that's okay not a problem um uh, what else do we have here we've got you guys coming to have a look over this way at persia and yeah we're gonna go for that one in oh, not that way my friend this way uh not that one in georgia let's uh pop that off and let's speed back over here so we've got two battles to do then it looks like so once we've taken this, it's a very defensible position here too. It's very good. We can actually go after Vienna. Uh, but I want to take Hungary and Croatia. 
and Venice as well. I mean, this army is not amazing, but we are kind of winning just because our technology is so much better than everyone else's at the minute with the plug bayonet. We're going to get the ring bayonet soon too, so we won't even have to switch across to plug bayonet. But uh, first things first, let's get rid of Georgia. I think that's going to be the best option for us. Those are large line infantry units, honestly. So it's not going to be as easy as we wanted. We do have five units of artillery in here. I didn't realize we had five. We've got demi cannons as well. I think we'll get rid of the demi cannons. They're not really worth it. 20 accuracy, 25 accuracy. They do have a good range. But um, wait, let's just continue the siege. Let's just check. What's the firepower difference? So 42, 21. So these nine pounders are not even that good. Um... Oh, well, it'll be fine. So let's get going then, guys. Let's kill Georgia off. And they have a port. Uh, they have a fort, guys, which, um, yeah, not amazing for us. Ideally, I'd like to be on this side with this uh, hill. That would be pretty darn good. So I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think the demi cannons can move, though, can they? Can the demi cannons move? I'm not 100% certain. But we can get here and literally just sh fire at them. That would be quite good, in fact. Uh, but I don't want to sort of uh, put all my eggs in one back basket. All the eggs in one basket. So I think we are also going to have some cannons on this side. How far can you fire if I have you unlimbered? Plenty far, plenty far. So we are going to have some guys on this side. We're going to group you together. We're going to also group you together. Uh, and we're going to keep the desert boys on this this side here and we're basically just going to pound them into oblivion i think is the best option here is just to fire into the city as much as we can i probably should have a look to see whether they have a fort but um yeah that's it's fine guys isn't it it's fine we're going to keep our general on this side too so uh let's get going and we'll get set up and we'll start firing into them so we have made some significant breaches in the walls guys now both sides. So I think it is time to move in. Problem is, I don't think we've got quite enough. I mean, we've trapped like a lot of those units up on the walls, which is good. But the rest of our units here are pretty battered, honestly. And they get it, they've get they been getting pounded by the mortars. So I'm thinking about actually moving them around this way. And uh, including the Israelis too. Around this way, even to, uh, to basically avoid the fire from these guys. I have aimed the cannons at firing at these boys, but uh, I don't think it's going to work too well. I don't think they're really going to be able to do much damage. Are they even firing? No, they're a little bit timid about it. So will you please fire? This is the problem with the cannons, guys. They, they just stop firing randomly, which is quite annoying. Uh, they're also on fire at will, so I don't know why they wouldn't fire. You've got to fire, guys. If you're on fire at will, fire, bro. There we go. Finally. We're actually going to fire again. Good. Uh, now we've got our desert warriors on the way in. Which is good for us. They should be able to kill them. I want to take this little uh, fort armory here. Inside here they've got line infantry. I think honestly it's going to be a melee play again. But uh, let's see what we get up to when we get around that way. It's very foggy over here as you can see. Um, these guys should be running. Oh my god, look at the amount of men that have died. Wow. How accurate are their goddamn mortars, bro? Their mortars must be so accurate. I did not realize we were losing that many men. That's insane. Bro, that is mental. These guys are getting fired at, which is good. We should absolutely be shredding these boys now. Glorious. Come on, boys. And then uh, let's... Uh, come up a little bit further and i think what we'll do is we will send are these guys going up on the walls no we're going to send these guys up onto those walls you're going to come around this way and then we might even send this guy up on this wall here i know they're kind of stuck if they do that but that's fine and you i want you to charge into that building there the reason why i'm going to get oh, okay that was probably not the best idea um, you guys can now just... If you can fire over here, that'd be good. <laughs> Please, just fire over here, guys. Fire over here. And how are we doing with these men? Right, they're over this way now. Glorious. You guys are actual 
uh, firing guys. So both of you get up on the walls. Israelis two. You guys, the bashy bazooks. I want you to just run in and cause chaos. That will be awesome. These guys are getting into this building here. All of these guys are now getting on the walls. That's going to be amazing. Um, and then basically, I just want them on the walls to just fire down at the enemy. They are trying to get in the building, but it looks like they're going to get attacked here, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's not a problem. What is that? Building captured. Okay, good. Right then, Cav. Where are you, Cav? Uh, we're going to bring you over this way. Apparently, the music just decides to stop. That's okay. No problem. Um, these guys are getting up on these walls. Come on, guys. Get going. Get going. Get up on the walls, you imbeciles. Come on. Oh, my God. Sometimes it's so janky, this game, bro. <laughs> so janky. Well, at least these guys can get up okay. Uh, and we've got our desert warriors here. You guys get up, up to there. That's fine. And hopefully it's less janky. <laughs> well, now we've taken the building and we've actually fought off these Phylarch Arms citizenry. We are just firing down on them, which is great. Come on, guys. Get going. <laughs> oh, they're so slow sometimes. So, so slow. Um, and I want you guys potentially to get there would be awesome. So if you can get there and start running and get a bit faster, get a bit of a... Uh... Oh, apparently they're going to run in through that way. That's not the best idea, but... That's okay. They should still be... No, not like that. Like this, for God's sake. Stop. Why are you going down the bloody stairs? No. That's not right. No, 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 no. Not down the, the stairs. But anyway, they should be able to fire. These guys are now firing as well. And then all we need to do is take the town square. And we should be good. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Uh, not been that um, amazing. I mean, these guys are all on here. Uh, is that the enemy general? Of course it is. Good. Yeah, there we go. Now we just need to wait two minutes. Make sure we kill off those boys. Uh, you guys. Let's see. Israelis. You guys can get there. That's not a problem. Uh, we're going to get these guys. Are these fire? Yeah, they do fire. Good. You get up there then. And then where are the Israelis? You guys are here. Good. We'll get there. That would be amazing. That is our unit of Bashi Bazooks going because of these uh, garrison troops. Hopefully, though... So why are you routing? You've literally not been touched by anyone, bro. Literally not been touched by anyone. So, I don't know. Bit strange. Bit strange. Right, you guys attack them. That should be fine. They are starting to fire at us now. Come on, men. Get there. Should be able to fire once you get up. They just need to get up. It's just so... It takes so long. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. These guys are starting to rout now, though, which is good. Um, because of this unit. Like, this unit has basically saved us. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no, like, uh, windows in the back to shoot here, which would be very useful for us. But, um, unfortunately not. Oh, all of these guys now are like, nah. <laughs> Don't want to actually fight. Come on, will you, like, fire, for God's sake? They've just been fucking around for so long, doing nothing. Well, if you guys get there, that'd be good. And these guys are now routing. Well, that's excellent. <laughs> this is so stupid, bro. So stupid. They take so long fucking around that they do, like, nothing. They do nothing. Right, you guys fire at them. What are these? These are the Bashi Bazooks. Let's, uh, let's go and try and kill them, then, with the Bashi Bazooks. That should be fine. Um, artillery. Fire at these boys. Let's see if we can break them. Uh, and there we are. We are actually now properly firing. You guys, I would like you to fire too. If I do that, will that work? There we go. Okay. Now fire, please. <laughs> please. This is what you're here for, boys. This is what you're here for and you are doing nothing. So, yeah. I mean, you guys too. If you could fire at them, that'd be amazing. In fact, you get there ideally. That'd be amazing. 149 apparently. Uh, for us to win this. I don't know how because we don't have anyone on the town square. But okay. Not a problem. We are still winning though. And like I say, uh, we just need to uh, speed this up. Try and break these boys. Are these guys broken yet? Not quite. Hopefully a couple of good shots from the artillery will uh, sort that out. 
Let's do that. There we go. Well, they are getting some good, accurate shots. Not amazing shots, but some relatively accurate ones. And these guys are getting whittled down quite a bit. So, I mean, we should win this pretty easily here. But, yeah, just... Just annoying. They take so long to do anything, these boys. <laughs> like, <laughs> so long to get on the walls. So long to do anything. I'm surprised this unit is still going. Look at it. They've, they've, been, uh, they've been fighting for a long time. They are down to not many men. I, their general is dead, though, as well. So I'm surprised they're managing to last this long. The Bashi Bazooks are back in the fight now, too. Which is good for us. So keep on going, boys. Do we have anyone that has, like, routed and come back? It looks like it. Um, not that they're going to be that useful, honestly. So, get going, though. Get going. Might as well get someone in the town square. That'd be good. And then I don't think there's anything else for us to do except just sit in the town square. That'd be good. If we can. Um, this unit outside has ran away. Okay, good. Well, there's nothing else really for us to do. Keep on fighting. There's only 72 of those guys. These guys are all, like, broken now. But they can't do anything. In fact, what I'm going to do is you guys... Well, there we go. Glorious victory. I mean, <laughs> very strange victory, I've got to say. But a victory nonetheless, my friends. <laughs> well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, but yeah, we we lost a lot of men there. A thousand men, which is quite a lot. These Desert Warriors did 383 kills. Well, I think that deserves a name, doesn't it? But... Um, which unit of them was it? It's the second one. Okay, we've got to remember that. So I'm thinking for this one that killed 383, we're going to call it the Breach Makers because they were the first ones through the Breach. Once more into the Breach, dear friends. Once more into the Breach. So, uh, yeah, glorious. That does put us at border with Russia, but honestly, they won't be able to send a decent army down this way. They're too busy out here in Europe. So, yeah, I... I I'm not really too worried about Russia, honestly. But um, do we have here... Do they have a fort here? No, they don't have a fort. Uh, but they have a pretty large army. So I am willing to wait another turn or two to see if they will attack us. If they don't attack us in that time, then um, we might have to go and attack them. But honestly, it's fine. Uh, again, like I say, when our main focus is not Europe in this run, guys. It is going east. And we have uh, made the first step towards that i'm wondering whether we get an alliance with dagestan over here although they may be allied with russia let's have a look let's go they are hostile let's trade with them no they won't take the trade that's fine well let's uh, end the turn guys and let's see what happens and as expected they did come and sally out in austria so let's get on with the defense i think our organ guns with canister shot are gonna be something to behold but let's see guys <laughs> And it's a rainy, flat battlefield for us. But oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the organ guns can do canister shot. I did not realize that. I thought they would. Uh, but that's okay. We'll use these guys in the center of our line to do canister shot. So we'll stick them there. We'll stick the organ guns slightly forward. We're going to have a bit of a concave formation. So let's get those guys in there. And then we're just going to populate the rest of this with our troops we could even just go with one yeah that's actually fine um let's go with these two in here that'll be good uh they can be grouped and we'll get these boys out this way they can also be grouped so we know where everyone is um unfortunately you are by yourself but then let's get these boys out on the right hand flank and i think that'll be uh pretty good formation and then we'll just use like the janissaries either side in case they get their um their pikemen in order well the organ guns are ready to fire guys look at that <laughs> it's just insane <laughs> not very accurate um i've got to say but uh <laughs> against this cav it should be pretty darn good you guys can fire at the cav then you guys can fire at the cav when they get going too that'll be awesome and uh yeah <laughs> It's not exactly the most accurate, but look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> Two volleys of that is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so let's see how this does. We might do quite a bit of friendly fire here, honestly, <laughs> which surely, though, from this range, it's not going to be too bad. But I'm assuming their reloading is going to take forever. 
Um, and these guys need to be firing at the demi cannons. I'm hoping that they uh, get some good damage off because those demi cannons are targeting our organ guns. And uh, yeah, our organ guns, not amazing. Uh, we don't want to lose them. Uh, oh no, oh, fucking hell, bro. I did not mean to do that. I pressed completely the wrong buttons there. Shit. Can you get the cannons back, please, guys? Please, guys. Get the fucking cannons. Jesus Christ. But here they come. They've gone for the charge. So we're going to chase charge in with our uh, with our guys. We still do only have plug bayonet. So that's slightly annoying. But that's okay. So I think you guys can fire at the ground there. You guys at the ground there. And we should still do some awesome damage. Looks like the Austrians are going to run away. You guys can get that back on. And let's fire back at the, uh, the cannons over here. Where are they? Okay, they're moving now, so that's good. With that, we shouldn't lose anymore. How did we lose some cannons there? That's actually insane. Look at this, though. Even out of range, though, they're still just absolutely pummeling them. <laughs> Go on, the organ gun boys. Go on, the organ gun boys. Now they're actually in range. We can actually target people, which will be good. But there we go. Keep on firing, men. Keep on firing. And it's funny to hear that uh, they're using Ottoman soundtrack, which, uh, yeah, because I've said it to that for us. But of course, um, for them, doesn't make as much sense. But it is, I assume, because our guys are not, like, if I march our guys, yeah, because they're irregulars, they're not, like, line infantry. I think that's why they don't have a marching soundtrack, which is a little bit annoying. These guys take so long to reload, but it is worth it in the long run, I've got to say. <laughs> it will be worth it. It will be worth it, guys. We are trying to kill this unit here. But, uh, yeah, not working too well. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is insane. Not killing that many men, honestly. But um, let's get these guys firing here. Oh, look at that. That's what we like to see, boys. That's what we like to see. Let's get these guys set with canister shot ready to fire at them. And um, hopefully they'll be in the range just as we're about to fire. Okay, they're running that way now. That's fine. Yeah, the AI in this game, bro, is <laughs> something else, isn't it? It is something else. Um, you guys now, once again, I want you to fire there. And where's the other organ gun? You guys, again, once again, fire at this line infantry. Shouldn't be too much of a worry. And did they get their canister shot off? They're going to. Don't think it did anything. <laughs> Glorious. Wow. Fantastic. Um, well, I do still want to fire at the demi cannons, but it's probably not worth it that much now. And now we just need to wait. Oh, no. Here they come. They're coming back. They're coming back. Fire at these guys. Where are we getting shot from then? That's the question I want to I want to know. Oh, come on. They've got to break there. That was a good volley. That was a good volley. Let's go. Let's go. Here go the organ guns again, my friends. That was actually a terrible, terrible shot. But it did kill a lot of that line infantry. Wow. A lot of line infantry. Jeez. That was pretty insane. I love it. When, when they're close, they do so much more damage, actually, which is quite good for us. We've only got two cannons left here, though, which is not good, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, we've killed that cavalry then. You guys get again back out of the back. These guys have taken a bit of a battering, but it's okay. Um, these guys, are they in range? They're not in range of these boys. So this guy's just going to take a bit of damage. But that's what they're there for, isn't it, my friends? That is what they are there for. I'm trying to find the best targets to like fire across with the organ guns. So they hit as many people as possible. <laughs> um, I think we just go for this one here now, honestly. Probably them, actually. Um, it takes so long for them to load. But uh, when they do load, they're pretty insanely good. <laughs> These guys now on canister shot. Can we fire now, guys? Can we fire, please? They're just a bit stuck. I think they're, they're wondering what's going on. Come on, guys. Fire. God damn it. Fire, for God's sake. They take so long. Like, calm down, boys. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? <laughs> Honestly, this game is so broken, bro. <laughs> it's so broken. It's insane. <laughs> um, organ guns? I don't mind you firing like here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. Fire at them. Fire at them. 
Let's go, boys. Let's go. You guys fire there. Oh, look at that. Yes, let's go. Organ guns. Keep on going. Let's fire at the general's bodyguard. They're all running now. Unfortunately, we don't have any cavalry to run them down. So, uh, oh, these guys only have um, that on, which is a little bit shit for them. Right, let's, uh, let's try a little bit of a maneuver here. Keep on firing at the routing men just to stop them coming back. Uh, you guys fire into them too. Organ guns, you can keep on going or fire at the uh, general's bodyguard, actually. That's good. We did actually manage to catch a couple of them there. What else do we have in the back here? It's just, just cannons, it would seem. So I may actually send my general after them. But uh, let's see. As you can see, they are all coming back. So you guys fire at them. We're probably going to do a little bit of friendly fire here. Uh, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Probably going to be okay. And they're just routing whenever they <laughs> get close. Uh, you guys are firing. Fantastic. Yeah, defensive battles in this game are so fun. I've got to give it that. They are very fun. The AI is very dumb, but it's still like it's still really good fun. Come on, boys. Are you going to fire or not? Looks like they are. Looks like you're firing the wrong way, though. Fire at them. Fire at them. That was quite a lot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, it's glorious to see. It is absolutely glorious to see. Fire at them. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. These guys can now canister shot them too. Fantastic. You boys, let's get you there. Looks like uh, these guys are charging. So let's uh, get the bayonets on. These guys are running, actually. That's not ideal. So what are we going to do? We're going to send in the... Uh, the Bashi Bazooks. Not the Bashi Bazooks. The uh, Janissaries, actually. The best unit that we have. Very nice unit. Good. That canister shot is glorious. Absolutely destroying them. <laughs> oh, these organ guns are something else, my friends. You guys, just get one volley off over there would be fantastic. You guys, instead, let's get you after there, after the militia. Come on, guys. Charging. I'm surprised these Israelis have run away. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to make everyone else run away. You guys, too. Get there. And, uh, yeah, let's fire at that militia when we can. Looks like the pikemen are coming back. Probably don't need to worry about that. Shoot them. You guys, shoot them. These guys should should route forever. And that's pretty much the end of the battle there, guys, isn't it? Glorious. Well, there we go, guys. A glorious victory once again. Very nice indeed. Absolutely demolishing them fantastic those organ guns are so fun well look at that those stats are insane let's see anyone worth uh, getting in here these keybat genissaries did amazing 285 kills well i think that's a good name would be the butchers or the blades or something like that it is the first one in the list so we can uh we can name them that as well. How did the organ guns actually do? 155 kills. The demi canister 26. <laughs> and they even had canister shot. Oh my god. Where's the other organ guns? Um, 132. Pretty good kills there, isn't it? Fantastic. Glorious, my friends. Well, once again, Austria is being incredibly annoying. So we are just going to take this army and go and kill these guys. Should be an easy auto-resolve there. Very nice indeed. And we'll take you back there too. Let's repair that. That should allow us to repair all of this region uh, without worrying too much about any more raids. This unit is very annoying. Now, we would win this if we fought this manually, but let's just auto-resolve again. And we'll also keep that guy in there to keep this place safe from any further raids that might come in as well. Now... I do think replacing the demi cannons in this army with 18 pounders is the option. Let's also auto resolve this though first. Should be nice and easy. And uh, also, this is a military zone. This Janissary is the one. So we're going to call it um, auto. Well, let's just call them the uh, Butcher's Blades. I think that's cool. I think that's a cool name. Uh, very nice indeed. Yes, the Butcher's Blades. Well, Transylvania isn't exactly incredibly upset with us taking it. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, they're actually fine. So we probably uh, can leave straight away. However, I am going to retrain this army. It's going to cost 2,000. I'm going to go after those guys. 
Um, I'm not going to raid anything because I want the land, of course. So what's the point of raiding it? We're also going to repair uh, this army. So let's do that. That's 3,000. Do we have enough to repair that too? We do. Glorious. How unhappy is Georgia? More unhappy, I've got to say. <laughs> um, once that's repaired, though, we could actually train some garrison troops. I'm happy to leave it for now, though. Um, actually, we can't fit everything in this army. Well, let's get rid of the demi cannons. We're actually going to withdraw them. Let's get you guys in there. And then what do we want to... Yeah, we want to replace, like, the mob. Yeah, the mob. We definitely... We don't need the mob. <laughs> so, in fact, these guys, you can go into there as garrison. Does that help or not? It does help a little bit, actually, which is quite good. So we are going to go after Persia. What is this? Not the best army. I'd love some organ guns in this army now just because they're so fun. <laughs> they are so, so good. Very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, let's uh, recruit two 18-pounders or one 18-pounder with the rest of our money. What else have we built? We've built a barracks in Athens too. Okay, good. And get more organ guns. Uh, weird how we can't get the 18-pounders in these areas, but we can get them in this area. What does this allow us to get? Some more irregulars. The Israelis, actually, and the 24-pounder howitzers, too. Did we get anything done? No, we've got one more turn. And we actually took this, which is Georgia's one. I'm happy to keep this. This can be our one for this, like empiricism, physiocracy, which will allow more buildings of things. We need division of labor for the bigger trading ports as well, which is glorious. So let's go for that. More enemy raids, of course. Um, Ibrahim Huzrev is still uh, still making this Islamic. Good. Fantastic. And what else do we have? Uh, Muslims in Bosnia. Yeah, we've done that. Glorious. Well, fantastic, fantastic uh, progress we've made so far. And we're only like, uh, well nearly towards the end of the episode, but a glorious little campaign so far. So this is... Oh, this is Demi Cannons. We didn't want that. Right, well, uh, let's get rid of them. They're just costing us money for no reason. So let's go with that. Transylvania is probably going to be happy-ish. So we probably don't need to worry about that too much. We also want to repair that when we get come around to it. So very good. Well, let's end the turn there, guys. Let's see what happens with Persia. I've got a sneaking suspicion that they might want to attack us. It's a relatively decent army as well, and we've got a pretty damaged army. But I think with canister shot, these nine pounders will be absolutely savage. So uh, that should be good. Let's see, guys. Well, there we go with ring bayonet, my friends. That's very good indeed. Um, so what do we want to go? We want to definitely go military syllabus next. Only five turns for military syllabus, which is actually glorious. And um, that's going to be very, very helpful. And then I think with Kayseri afterwards, we'll start going on some industrial technology while Sahumkale, Sahumkale, yes, I'm saying that perfectly well. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do that. We've also got this guy got uptight, which is fine. 18 pounders in there. Let's uh, recruit another unit of the 18 pounders. And I'm thinking, well, this army's gone here, which is just stupid. Um, I kind of want to replenish this army fully. So let's just take this town and replenish there for a turn. Just so we know where we stand, really. And then I'm going to upgrade this for the, with the rest of our money. Because it's a very good little building there. You guys can get back into there. We'll repair this too. And what we'll do is repair you guys. I do want to actually upgrade this to a military building. Because then we can... We've got trading there and Belgrade. Which will be awesome. These guys too, I would like to uh, replenish before we engage. So let's do that. Got one more turn, probably. Uh, yeah, one more turn and they should be happy. How are they in Transylvania? No one's really rioting at the minute, which is good. Uh, yeah, they're actually fine. Can we do that? No, we can't quite yet. That's fine, then. Let's leave that be. How about Maria? Can we uh, can we do anything in Maria? Let's upgrade to a base mansion here as well. We are actually still good here, which is glorious. So uh, let's just check all these little buildings to make sure they've not been 
destroyed and raided. This one needs replenishing. Good. Anywhere else that could do with a bit of a replenishment. We've got a lot of wineries down here. Let's also just have a look at our trade screen. We are trading Europe. We're trading a lot of cotton and furs. Ivory is very, very expensive right now. Um, and other goods. Yeah, we're trading a lot with New Spain. So that is a good one. Barbary States has stopped. The Mughals we're trading with. So we've got some good trade routes in place here. A lot of them over land. Apparently France over land. How is that the case? Same with... Well, Poland makes sense. 13 colonies. How are they being transported over land, bro? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. I am very... I'm very surprised by that, but okay. <laughs> Apparently, uh, we're transporting goods to the 13 colonies in America over land. Um... Yeah, probably going across the Bering Strait. We built a big bridge there, apparently. So, <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just chill here for a turn, like I said before. Just to chill out a little bit. Um, anything we want to build in, say, Istanbul. Uh, I, was, I nearly called it Constantinople then. Um, but, yeah, Istanbul. School of Calligraphers. What's that? That's our happiness. So... Yeah, let's just pop that in. We might as well spend some of the money that we're making. We're now making 10,000 a turn, which is glorious. Uh, anything we want to recruit next turn? We want cavalry, really. Um, which we need the military syllabus, really, to get cavalry. Can we get cavalry here that we're just not able to get? Yeah, we can get Delhi horsemen. They're actually not too bad, but we need carbines. So, might actually do carbines with Kayseri afterwards. That'll be fine, yeah. Let's end the turn, though, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, Poland-Lithuania has attacked um, the Crimean Carnate, so, of course, we are going to enter the war on the side of our ally. That means we are pretty much surrounded by enemies now. <laughs> Great. Hmm, well, Persia does have quite a significant amount of troops over here, but now we can actually recruit some decent units in Tbilisi, which is good for us. Can we exempt... Stop them being exempted from tax. No, we cannot. We can also get the organ guns over here now, which is awesome. We can actually go up to Ordnance Factory. I didn't realize that. That's good. What does that allow? 18-pounder artilleries. Yep, yeah, fantastic. So let's also upgrade that over here. No, we're already at that over here, which is good. Uh, let's upgrade it there too. Fantastic. And I think we're going to go and attack over this way we do have those 18 pounders now so we can actually probably join up our troops that'll be glorious i don't know why they would accept that apparently we lost 376 men in that that seems like a rather obscene amount of men to lose for two units uh, but oh well we'll stand on the bridge let's uh, engage let's see if they will come and attack us that's fine we got a worker strike i'm assuming transylvania potentially that's okay yeah, 18 pound a foot in Serbia. Good. Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. We also got our new military technology. So we are researching um, uh, carbines, which is fine. And over here, I think we need a secondary army over this way, honestly. Because look at the amount of troops they have. Like, I was not expecting Persia to have so many troops. I feel like they will attack us, though, if we go this way. So let's see. No, they did not. It's saying, oh my god, where did those other armies come from? I can't see those other ar these armies. Might have to run away. <laughs> Let's see if they attack us, because we cannot beat that. Uh, however good our cannons are, we cannot beat that by ourselves. So, uh, we do also have access to the Mamluks now, though, which are a fantastic light cavalry unit. Um... So we'll get training those at some point soon. We can also get archers and tartars too, but yeah, not the uh, not the best not the best thing when you're putting archers out on the field against muskets, really, guys. It, although in this game it's not too accurate, they are actually quite good. So, <laughs> bit strange though, bit strange. Um, so yeah, now like all our borders are pretty much pretty bad. So yeah, we do need we need we need new armies everywhere. So we've only got one army here and one army there. So we need a new army for up this way, and then we'll need a new army somewhere else. We could even get in there inside their fort. <laughs> that would be quite cool. I'm considering attacking Hungary though, like skipping this unit and just attacking Hungary. But let's see. Let's end the turn again, guys. 
Well, uh, this area does have a, port, a, a fort. So what I'm thinking is we go into Fort Common over here. Just take it for ourselves and enga uh, invite them to engage us. Although invitations to engage us haven't worked too well so far, have they? <laughs> um, looks like they've moved some of their troops away from Azerbaijan, though. So let's see if we can engage Azerbaijan. We can. That is glorious. No fort here. Let's ask them to surrender. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go for the battle, guys. The battle for Azerbaijan. Glorious. So, guys, we've massed all our artillery. They have got their army in a very weird, uh, a weird um, formation. That's quite strange. Um, but fine. We're just going to march forward slowly and see whether we can engage them and where they will engage us. That'll be glorious. Got all our cavalry on one flank. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. But uh, I guess we'll find out, guys. <laughs> we've got our desert warriors over this side. Look at their cavalry coming now. So I'm willing to just wait for a second. Uh, let's ungroup these guys. Let's uh, let's get there quickly. Go on, men. And then we've got our bashy bazooks over here as well, which should be fine. Come on. Why won't you just do that? Please. Please. Please just do that. God damn it, bro. Now group again. Run. Here we go. Hopefully we can get the firing off. That'll be good. These guys are not firing. It says they are, but they are not. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb, bro. Come on. Some things with this game, bro. I love this game to bits, but some things are just painful. <laughs> there we go. Firing at the camel gunners. So here we go. Let's get our bashy bazooks into the camels. Camel nomads here. Where have we got our breach, wor breach makers over this side? They shall hold. The breach makers will hold, my friends. Okay. Right now we need to get these guys. Let's ungroup them for a second. And... Ungroup them for a second, please. There we go. Right then, boys. Let's get into uh, formation quickly. That should be good. Where is the rest of their army? It's all just marching around that way. Fine. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right then. Uh, we've got the uh, Desert Warriors. Let's go. Let's uh, just get moving up slightly. That should be good. The, uh, the Desert Warriors I've been very impressed by, honestly. They uh, seem to just mass volley everyone into into hell which is pretty good for us where are our cannons they are here uh we're absolutely should be destroying those guys let's uh let's focus on the camel nomads i'm gonna uh i'm going to uh like basically do it one by one because otherwise it just doesn't work oh my god look at that desert warrior is going absolutely ham come on the boys that's what we like to see it's <laughs> what we like to see boys uh who is still moving here you guys think you're moving. Halt. There. Just, like, stand there. That's fine. Just stand there. Okay? Good. <laughs> you're happy now. Oh, there we go. Some good shots into the camel gunners. They don't like taking artillery fire, these camel gunners, at all. They don't like taking any fire at all, really. Right then, uh, let's get uh, this line moving. They have a lot of men coming through the city. Looks like they are firing at something. What's going on here? No, it's just their smoke. They've been firing at their own town hall. <laughs> this looks like all impassable. So what I might do is send like three units to come this way. And just stop anyone coming up that way. And then the rest of these guys can go and join the, uh, the desert warriors. So let's keep on marching forward with them. And camels, uh, what do we want to do with you? I'm not 100% certain. What is that, though? That's Bowman. I don't like Bowman. So let's go and just charge them. Should be good. Hopefully they won't be able to get too many uh, too many volleys of their arrows off before we uh, manage to charge them. So go on, camels. Let's have a good one. What is this? Just levy. Don't know what they're doing. We can actually get square formation now, too. Looks like they've uh, broken already. There we go. You guys should be able to fire. Desert warriors, how are we doing? We're doing well. Good. Well, let's keep on coming forward with these guys. Want to engage those ca uh, those uh, bloody camels. You guys get there. You guys keep coming forward too. Looks like the camels are going for a little cheeky charge on the Israelis. But uh, that's okay. How are the camels doing over here? Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, absolutely shredding, bro. 
absolutely shredding. Um, right then, well, I think you two units can come through this way. And then you'll be able to get some good volleys off on the armed populace and the desert warriors. You guys can just slowly march forward. In fact, there we go. That's it. That's what we like to see. And then you can uh, come around that way and ho hopefully have a good flanking motion there. And then we'll get our camels back. Good. How are we doing over this way? Let's have a look. Doing pretty well. Right, cannons. Let's see what our next target is going to be. Probably these camel nomads, to be honest. Let's do it one by one so they actually do fire. That'll be good. And we've got some good firing going on over here. I love just the effects of this mod and this game, honestly. It is fantastic to see. Right, let's get these boys marching further forward. Doesn't look like they've got really much else uh, for us here. Let's get you guys in there to try and protect this flank. And you guys can come forward. The Breachmakers have taken a lot of, a lot of damage, unfortunately. But they have been on the flank the whole time. Right, Israelis. Time for you guys to march into the battle line two. Let's go. And then we'll get our fire arm. Fire arm populace can just, like, chill there somewhere. That's that's absolutely fine. No problem. Let's not put you on fire at will so that you fire. The breach makers are gone, guys. The breach makers are gone. <laughs> no, not the breach makers. Not the breach makers. Here come the pikemen. These are actually a really good unit of pikemen as well. There we go. Oh, my God. That was quite a brutal volley from the boys. That's what we love to see. Glorious. Bashi Bazook's going into the fight. Let's go. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Oh, we've got a guy routing. One of the Israelis is actually routing. How, How is that the case? Oh, we've got the archers here. That'll be why. God damn. They came back from routing again. God damn it, bro. Stop routing. <laughs> Stop coming back from routing. That's the most annoying thing. So, these Desert Warriors. The Desert Warriors, honestly, have been insanely good for us. The Breach Makers are back from routing. Good. That's what we like to see. So, get back in the action there, boys. What do we have here? Camel Nomads. Let's get the Bashi Bazooks back out of the fight. Also, I'm going to bring my General forward. We haven't really used him so far. But we might as well bring him forward. I don't think they've got much left, really, looking at this. Uh, well, let's have a look. Let's see if we can start, like, pounding on these Zamidinil. These are uh, spearmen. One of our cannons is not in the group anymore, but okay, that's fine. Right, these guys doing well. Good. Now we want to shatter these guys. Yes, they are shattered now. Good. Uh, I don't want to charge the pikemen, obviously. That's not the ideal <laughs> situation. <laughs> Glorious. Lots of firing going on. We're doing very well over this flank. Absolutely shredding them. Right, boys. Let's keep on marching forward then with the desert boys. Absolutely glorious units. I, I am very impressed by them, I've got to say. Uh, Israelis, uh, you are going to continue firing at the Desert Warriors, no problem. Um, Bashi Bazooks, you guys come this way. Right, Breach war breach guys, let's just turn slightly to make sure that we can uh, engage those Camel Warriors. And General, let's come around this way. How are we doing over here? Camel Nomads have gone a bit mental, that's fine. Uh, right then, Camel Nomads. Let's uh, get around this way. And let's keep on going. These guys have come back now. Good. Right, you three units. Glorious. Right. Let's see what we can do. If we can get, like, there, that would be quite a good uh, little position. I know it's going to take you a little while to get there, but that's okay. How are those camels doing? We're firing at them. Glorious. Glorious, glorious. That's what we like to see. Let's bring these boys forward too. Should be nicely in position there. And also, these guys should be firing. Oh, the Bashi Bazooks are, like, right in front. I don't know why. Let's just get back. Are you guys able to fire yet? Come on. Fire. Fire, men. <laughs> don't know what they're doing. Oh, look at that. Oh, mortar shot. Just hitting right at the moment. Wow. Insane. Are they gun gunners? No, they're just normal nomads. These guys can't make square formation, unfortunately. Although our other unit can. Right, you guys. Let's uh, turn around and fire at them. There we go. Bashi Bazooks actually just go for the charge. That's no problem. And now we should be in range of all of these boys. So we should be firing. These guys are actually run out of ammo. Really? Well, uh, go and enjoy a bit of a melee combat. 
And we'll bring uh, these boys forward too. Hopefully firing through the gaps. You guys keep firing. There we go. Now we should be able to fire at the Camel Nomads. No problem. How are we doing in terms of our units up here? Oh, you guys are coming. There we go. We've got the Firelock Armed Populace. This uh, Pikeman unit. Hopefully we can get a good volley off at them. This is still quite a strong detachment on this flank right now. And I, as I say, I don't want to be charging no Pikeman. It's not really the best option for us. So, uh, yeah, but we should be able to kill these guys, no problem. There we go. How are we doing over here? Hopefully firing pretty well. There we go. Bashy Bazooks. Let's get into the Bowman. And you boys, you guys, any of you... Oh, they've all lost ammo. Well, you guys get here then. You guys get in the charge. Same as you. And that should be the battle, guys. That should be the battle. Pretty nice battle and quite fun, honestly. Really quite fun. You guys, I want you to charge them down because they will. They, those pikemen will come back. Um, you guys can come through this way. And then what, do we, what else do we have? We've got these musketmen. Let's go and kill them. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. We've got this armed populace. They should be easy to kill. What are you doing, bro? Like, why are you moving? Like, there's no need for it. Please, come on, <laughs> bro. <laughs> right, here we go. Should be able to fire on the camels pretty nicely. Hopefully, these guys are now shattered. We'll chase after them if they're not. Glorious. Keep firing, men. Keep firing. Should be easy to kill those camel nomads. And then all we've got to do is kill these few men and the artillery. Well, there we go, guys. Another glorious victory against the Persians. Fantastic. And there we go, guys. We only lost a 1,000 men versus their 5,600. That is insane. Very nice indeed. We've got plenty of money now to um, retrain these boys still, which is awesome. Now, I think we want to sabotage this army, uh, potentially assassinate this guy. Let's see whether we can do that. That'd be good. And yeah, no, unfortunately not, but that's okay. They do still have this massive army here too. I'm hoping though now the fact that we've taken that they won't go after Tbilisi, but you never know with the AI. They are quite weird in what they do. Um, but yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Um, what else have we got going on here then? Right, well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.